Good morning, students. Uh, today you're going to do a use a graphing website in order to complete your laboratory activity. What I want you to do is first go to the class website, tinyurl.com forward slash bell rocks. When you've gotten to my class website, go to the navigation toolbar on your left and click on helpful websites. Find the section Mark Science Fair and click on create a graph. You're at the Kids Zone website, and at the top you've got several links. Choose the one for graph. Now, for this activity, I want you to pay close atten attention to the pr uh, procedures to find out which type of graph you're going to use. For training purposes, right now I'm going to use the bar graph. Now, don't pay attention to any of this stuff down here. If you have time when you're done your lab, you can go ahead and change the uh, little details, like which way you want your graph to point or the color, but right now I want you to really focus on the data. You've got your toolbar on your left, so click on data. Your graph title will, should represent the uh, manipulated versus the responding variable. It's going to depend on what your data is about, and uh, it's also going to uh, represent what you and your group decide is the best title. Your x-axis, your manipulated variable goes here, your responding variable will go here on the y-axis and I want your all the names of first and last of everybody in your group because when you go ahead to uh, print or save it to your flash drive or send it to me via email uh, the only way I'm going to know that you particularly finished this uh, activity will be when I see your group's names at the bottom of the graph. Your data set here is based on how much, uh, how many items you're, you've manipulated, and how many, uh, what are you using as a response, or your responding data. Um, in this case, if you want to change the number of items, let's say you have seven different years that you've manipulated, just click on item and click on seven. It'll change, and you'll be able to put like the different types of years in each of these item label boxes. Now. You're going to start off with only one group of data, one responding data that you're dealing with. And depending on what your responding variable is up here, is what you're going to use here in your group label. And if you want to change how many groups of data, let's say you're comparing precipitation with temperature, you would have to add another group. And you would put precipitation in group one or group two or temp or temperature and precipitation in group two, depending on how you want your graph to look. And again, you can change the color of your graph. The minimum value you should use is always zero. Uh, depending on your maximum value in your uh, chart that I was give, that was given to you, take the maximum value and round it up to the nearest hundreds, and put that maximum value here. So if you had a uh, your your top number was say 70, 72 degrees, go ahead and put 75 as your maximum value. Uh, sometimes if you're dealing with thousands, let's say you have 75,000 uh, people in your population, keep out the comma that's supposed to go here and keep it out of here on your data set too as well because it will mess up the, uh, the graph in itself. So when you're ready, always preview first. Um, you're not going to see anything here uh, other than what I've written in the graph. No data because I haven't added any data into the chart. But notice that the first and last name comes up on the bottom. If you're happy with your graph, then go ahead and print and save. There are several steps you have to follow to print. Depending on your computer, you'll have to change the, uh, the printer in which you send it to. Download it to your flash drive or go ahead and directly email it to me at kelly.bell at princegeorgescountypublicschools.org or pgcps.org and then click send. Uh, when you're done, go ahead and, uh, and you know that I've got received your graph or you've downloaded it or printed it, let me know and I, you can go ahead and finish answering your questions. And go ahead guys, thank you and if you have any, again, if you have any questions, let me know.